What is the difference between African elephants and Asian elephants? Elephants are the largest animals walking the earth today, which is why they are so iconic and a popular attraction for people all over the world. But did you know that there are different types of elephants? That's right, and we're here to talk about each of them, why they are so special and how exactly they differ. So grab a bag of peanuts, relax, and let's talk about African and Asian elephants. Asian elephants Asian or Asiatic elephants are actually a single species, known to taxonomists as Elephus maximus. That said, there are three subspecies. The Sumatran elephant, Elephus maximus sumatranus, Indian elephant, Elephus maximus indicus, and the Sri Lankan elephant, Elephus maximus maximus. These beautiful creatures were once widespread throughout much of southern Asia, but are now scattered across India and Southeast Asia. You can find wild populations in Sumatra, Borneo, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, Nepal, India, and Sri Lanka, as well as captive ones in many parts of Asia. Asian elephants are also found in several zoos around the world. These giants are the second largest species of elephant on Earth today. Males, or bulls, are a bit bigger than females, or cows. An average adult bull stands 9 feet at the shoulder and weighs around 4.4 tons. Cows have an average shoulder height of 7.9 feet and an average body weight of 3 tons. Of course, these are just average figures. The biggest Asian elephant on record is an Indian bull measured at 7.7 .7 tons and 11.3 feet. However, some folks have claimed to have seen 12-foot-tall specimens, though this has not been confirmed. Asian elephants are renowned and iconic presences within their native regions, and they play significant roles in mythology, religion, war, transport, tourism, and in ecology. They are depicted as deities and spirits in Hinduism, for instance, while their historic use in war made them highly attractive to Western powers like the Roman and Greek empires. They are also harvested for their meat, hides, and of course, ivory. Ivory, especially, is one of the main reasons they're targeted by poachers, who are an ever-present threat. Additionally, elephants can help the environment in several ways. One major way is the distribution of seeds all over the place, mainly through their dung, and this helps many plant species reproduce and spread. Today, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists the Asian elephant as endangered, with fewer than 50,000 left in the wild. In addition to illegal hunting, habitat loss has done a real number on their… Uh, numbers, and conservation efforts in these areas are not always easy. Speaking of habitat, Asian elephants live in a wide range of environments, from open grasslands to forests, swamps, and mountain ranges. They are highly intelligent animals with incredible memory and problem-solving skills. They are also very trainable, which is a big reason why humans have worked with them for centuries. Another aspect of elephant intelligence is their complex sociability and group dynamics. Females, sub-adults, and calves often live together in herds of varying size. Sometimes, different herds will come together and form mega-herds in situations where the foraging is good. These herds are not strictly hierarchical or based on direct relation, as members can come and go fairly fluidly. Adult males, on the other hand, often live alone or in smaller bands known as bachelor groups. These bulls mostly hang around herds during mating windows, and they often fight amongst each other to establish dominance and secure rights to females. Of course, with sociability comes communication, and these elephants talk to each other in a variety of ways. Body language cues like ear flapping, touching, and trunk movements indicate mood and emotion. Vocalizations include rumbles, growls, chirps, snorts, and the iconic trumpeting. Their sensitive ears and even feet are crucial for detecting some of the lower frequency sounds, and they can discern hundreds of other elephants based on their vocalizations. The trunk is a central part of an Asian elephant's daily life. Part nose, part communication tool, and part limb, the trunk helps with tracking as well as the manipulation of objects. At the very tip is a single finger-like extension used for feeling, greeting, and precision grabbing. Because of their humongous sizes, elephants are classified as mega herbivores, and they sure have a mega appetite. 
adults can eat as much as 330 pounds of food every single day, and they can down up to 200 liters of water daily. Their diet is quite broad, from leaves and fruits to roots, grass, and even veggies. They are a common menace to farmers in their native zones and can do major damage to crops and gardens, which often leads to serious conflict. Though fairly peace-loving and avoidant, they can still be very dangerous, and attacks on people or livestock do happen from time to time. Obviously, being attacked by a four-ton behemoth can drastically reduce any person's life expectancy. Interestingly, the elephant's near-infinite memory means individuals that have had nasty experiences with people in the past are much more likely to charge them, even without provocation. Bulls are especially dangerous during mating seasons, and cows with calves will also charge without hesitation. Elephants never forget, as the saying goes, and they never forgive. That said, they are generally lovable lunks that prefer to go about their business undisturbed. When they are not foraging, they typically take naps, engage in playtime, or take baths and wallow in sweet mud. Asian elephants typically set up camp near freshwater sources like rivers and lakes so they can drink, bathe, and swim. Apart from humans, fully grown individuals have no natural predators for the most part. Tigers occasionally pick off small calves and juveniles that stray too far from their parents, though. In recent times, there are two confirmed cases of tigers successfully killing adult elephants though one case featured a very sickly bull. African Elephants The term African Elephant actually refers to the genus Loxodonta, which is made up of the African Bush Elephant, Loxodonta africana, and the African Forest Elephant, Loxodonta cyclotis. That's right, there are two species of African Elephant compared to the sole Asian species. The Bush Elephant is the larger of the two, and the largest elephant species on Earth. The forest elephant is the smallest species behind its Asian cousin. Fossil records show that there were at least four more Loxodonta species and subspecies in the past, but these are long extinct. The two species we have today are in serious trouble too, with the IUCN listing the bush elephant as endangered and the forest elephant as critically endangered. The usual suspects of habitat loss and poaching are the leading causes of their predicament. Ivory poaching, in particular, is the bane of these animals. And the fact that both bulls and cows grow prominent tusks means they are targeted much more than their Asian relatives. In Asian elephants, it is mostly mature bulls that have long, fabulous tusks. Cows and younger males have very short tusks, called tushes, that are barely visible and virtually worthless in the ivory trade. Like their Asian kin, African elephants have a dramatically diminished range today. They are scattered throughout sub-Saharan Africa. They live in grasslands, forests, and sparse woodlands. Though not an unusual sight in semi-arid zones, they actively avoid deserts because of their high demands for vegetation and water. These days, many populations are confined to protected areas and national parks, but some, such as those in Zimbabwe's Zambezi Valley, truly roam free and sometimes encounter humans in towns, on farms, and even on the road. Like their Asian cousins, African elephants are a very significant part of human culture. They are regarded as a traditional symbol of royalty, strength, and family throughout Africa, and some tribes even adopt them as familial totems or sigils. In modern times, the elephant can be found on sport team logos, coats of arms, company branding, and more. Elephant leather is a common status symbol, and elephant meat is a delicacy in some restaurants too. Physically. African elephants are quite different from their Asian counterparts. In fact, within their taxonomic family of elephantidae, Asian elephants are much more closely related to the extinct mammoths than they are to the living loxodonts of Africa. African elephants have a more sloped forehead compared to the bulbous domes of Asian ones. Their ears are significantly larger too, and instead of one finger-like extension, African elephant trunks have two. Additionally, their legs and feet are far stiffer and less dexterous than Asian elephant legs, which means they are far less reliant on these limbs when it comes to digging and manipulating objects. This lack of flexibility is why Asiatic elephants are far more popular choices in circuses and other shows. The skin is another major difference, the African elephants being far more wrinkly and less prone to depigmentation than the Asian species. 
Asian species sometimes have pale depigmentation on their faces, trunks, ears, and necks, while African elephants rarely have this. You can also identify African elephants by looking at their backs and even back feet. African elephants have concave or straight backs, while Asian ones have rounded backs. Additionally, their back feet have three toenails each, while Asian elephants have four on each foot. Now let's talk about size. Again, males are bigger than females. Adult bush elephants are between 8 and 11 feet tall at the shoulder, while weight ranges from 5,700 to 15,200 pounds. Adult forest elephants are significantly smaller, with bulls ranging from 6.9 to 7.6 feet in shoulder height and 3,700 to 5,100 pounds in weight. African elephants also differ when it comes to social dynamics. While they do live in female and young herds as well, these groupings are far more close-knit, and adult members are almost always related in some way – mothers, daughters, aunts, and grandmothers. The herds are also hierarchical, with the most elderly member typically playing the role of matriarch. Males stay with their mothers until they are on the brink of sexual maturity when they move away. They can roam solo or form bachelor groups with other young males. Mature bulls are often solitary, with the exception of the odd chance encounter and mating periods. Sometimes bulls will take younger male relatives under their wings and play the role of mentors. African elephants are renowned for their incredible intelligence and brain power. Their brains are very similar to ours, in fact, though they are considerably bigger. In fact, at 11 pounds, the African elephant's brain is the largest of any land animal today. Their neocortex is highly advanced, which results in emotional complexity, sociability, and overall cognition power on par with apes, dolphins, and us. They are fast learners, and isolated populations have even been documented to have differing forms of tool use. Like Asian elephants, the African species have awesome memory skills. They can remember other elephants, people, places, and directions from decades ago. Given their incredible sizes, they generally have nothing to fear from other animals, though some exceptionally large lion prides can take on and kill juveniles or calves. Apart from that, their biggest threat is, and always will be, humans.